Well, after a sumptuous Italian lunch with a nice cold beer, we hike up to this top of the hill overlooking the Duolo River and the um, Raca da Riviera, the right hand side, and Nova Villa Gaia on the left hand side, separated by this beautiful Douro River and there is this uh, little park here yeah. and beyond that is the uh, train line and there situated at the top of the hill is a monastery called Mosterio da Sierra dos Pila a bit of a long name but anyway this is a monastery from the good old days well, from this uh, hilltop monastery, you get an excellent view of historic Porto, the historic city of Porto. So, looking down, you see the Braca, uh, the Ribeira, and then some of these uh, ancient buildings right in the background, as you can see. And then, flowing down, is this. So what you see down here is actually a metro line as well as a pedestrian walk across this beautiful bridge and on to the other side which is the, um, the Porto side. Spanning the river Douro, there must be at least six to eight such bridges across this beautiful river so this is a view of the monastery which uh, was used centuries ago by the monks uh, this is a central courtyard of the Mosterio Terra de Pilar yeah. Okay, very nice architecture. Domini, where you are. Very nice, very symmetrical and circular. Very nice. All right, now what is inside here? Oh, somebody here. Let's take a look and see who this guy is. Oh, he must be a gladiator of some sort, eh? Yeah. Yeah, the only thing good about this uh, monastery is this wood carvings that you see. This is uh, the concrete carvings that you see here. It's pretty ornate and very nice. Apart uh, from that, there's nothing very much to see here. Oh, only this exhibition panel is uh, here for, for the visitors to take a look. And then that, uh, that wraps up the uh, tour of this monastery. The only reward for visiting this Mostero La Sierra do Pila is this on the other side, and the scenery that you get so with that we'll sign off for the day